true story, I was working on a patient not too long ago and all I did was show her how I wanted her to moisturize and her comment to me was that she felt like she looked like she just got a facial, but I didn't do anything. I didn't do guasa, acupuncture, I just hydrated her skin. So that's the power of well hydrated skin. So I wanna show you how. Some of you may be using a cream or when you think moisturize your skin, you think cream. And um, I actually hardly ever, I shouldn't say never, but hardly ever just moisturize myself or any of my clients with just a cream. So I always break it down into two to three components. Um, I start with a hydrating mist. This is one of my favorites. It's by Josh Rosebrook, Hydrating Accelerator. And um, another one of my favorites is um, Balancing Hypotonic by Marie Veronique. This is excellent for super, super, super dry skin. So these are also called toners sometimes, but these do not have alcohol or things like witch hazel that can create a bit of dryness. These are not astringents. These are hydrators. They deliver fluid into your skin, okay? Okay, so to start with, you simply apply your hydrator generously, okay? So here's um, the first lesson, generous application. So I'm using, I don't know, how many was that? Several pumps of the spray. Now, here's important. I always have my patients and clients press this in. A lot of people just spray and kind of go like this and then move on. And that's fine, but if you really want to hydrate like a pro and really get maximum results, you want to spend a little bit of time with your fluid, pressing it in to your skin, massaging it in, just like if it was an oil. And what this does is it really begins to press the fluids into your skin and it begins to integrate that fluid into your skin. And you can feel the change that happens. Um, your skin begins to soften. It begins to become more supple, okay? So now my skin is damp and I'm ready for my next step. Now, if you are dry, by the time you've applied and pressed and massaged in all your fluid, do another round. So, don't forget your neck. That's round two. A lot of you will find this very helpful to do a second and sometimes even a third round of hydrating. You know, sometimes if dryness is a reality for your skin, you just, you gotta do what you gotta do. So when I use the balancing hypotonic, I just, I just pop it right on my hand like this. And then, and then press that in. So now I'm like super moisturized because this is my third layer, which you can also do if you have, um, if you're like a product junkie and you just love different products and you have different facial mists, you can layer on different hydrating mists. Um, if you want to be really, really simple and basic, like you want to keep everything minimal, then you can just apply a facial oil next. Um, a lot of you use a serum that contains some kind of active that you're working with. You would do this now. So I have here a Tata Harper Brightening Serum. And serums are lighter than oils, but heavier than fluids. So they go next. So you always hydrate from lightest to to heaviest and um, I always did you see I always apply in my hand and then I always rub the product together in my palms because your palms are the best applicators for skincare you will not lose product or waste product by doing this I promise what you do end up doing is um, delivering the perfect amount of product for your skin so serums on my hand so I press that in and massage it around 
which is a really wonderful moment to touch your face, get to know your face, your tension patterns, and work with them, work them free. Okay, serum on. Now, what I like to do is, um, now I'm gonna do another quick and minimal layer of hydration. Flu I'm gonna bring back my fluids. Just one quick little spray just to make sure my skin is damp for my next layer, which will be my oil. Okay, so this keeps my skin damp, and this is really, really key for applicants application of oils to skin. A lot of people tell me I hate oils. It's just always greasy. My skin never absorbs it. And I always ask, is your skin damp when you're applying the oil? And often the answer is no. And aha, that's why. If you want to really get the most out of your oil, and if you really want to um, get it so that it looks beautiful and really really um, absorbs into your skin, you must apply it on damp skin. That's why I sprayed in between the serum and now this oil layer. So now at my oil layer, I'm using um, Marie Veronique's Protective Day Oil, which has a lot of ingredients that helps pre prevent um, sun damage. It's not SPF, it's just supportive to the skin to um, prevent oxidation damage okay so at this point I really just need a couple drops I'm gonna use three so if you're really really dry I still think you should start with less and then you can always apply more okay so remember we rub the product in our hands to use our master applicators fingers and hand fingers and palms master applicators okay and so then you press and massage I see sometimes people um, applying oil like this right onto their face um, it's fine it's it's not that that's wrong um, I just don't find that very efficient and but if you apply it in between your hands first prepare it in between your hands first um, I think you get a much better better application of the product and I think it will make you happier with the way the oil integrates into your skin and um, voila observe the glow now that you're hydrated and moisturized you can start your gua sa or if you're running out the door you can put on SPF and or makeup and you're ready to go. So do this every day. I recommend twice a day at night and in the um, daytime. And let me know if your skin goes next level because I'm pretty sure it will.